Supermarine Spitfire, an iconic fighter plane of World War II, was celebrated for its speed, agility, and combat prowess. Pilots adored it, and the public saw it as a symbol of Britain's resilience. However, beneath its legendary status, the Spitfire harbored a critical flaw that nearly cost Britain the war. This flaw was rooted in its Rolls-Royce Merlin engine, which would stall during dogfights, especially during steep dives. This issue gave German pilots, flying the Messerschmitt Bf 109, a significant advantage in aerial combat. The Battle of Britain, a pivotal moment in World War II, was won by the narrowest of margins, and the Spitfire's engine problem was a major factor in the struggle. The issue first emerged in 1938 but was not considered critical until the Battle of Britain in 1940. During intense dogfights, British pilots often found their engines cutting out at the worst possible moments. The problem was traced to the carburetor design of the Merlin engine. When the Spitfire went into a steep dive, gravity caused the fuel in the carburetor to move away from the fuel outlet, starving the engine of fuel and causing it to stall. This flaw was not unique to the Spitfire, it also affected other British fighters like the Hawker Hurricane and the Bolton Paul Defiant, all of which used the same Merlin engine. By 1940, the British government had already produced over 20,000 Spitfires, all equipped with the problematic engine. The stakes were high, and solving this issue became a matter of national survival. The best engineering minds, including those from Rolls-Royce and the Royal Aircraft Establishment, were tasked with finding a solution. Despite their efforts, they failed to resolve the issue. In fact, some of their attempted fixes introduced new problems. Enter Beatrice Tilly Schilling, an engineer whose brilliance would change the course of the war. Schilling was no ordinary engineer. She was a trailblazer, a woman in a male-dominated field, and a passionate motorcyclist who had set speed records at Brooklands racetrack. Her deep understanding of carburetors and engines came from years of tinkering with motorcycles, a hobby she had pursued since her teenage years. By the time World War II broke out, Schilling had already made a name for herself at the Royal Aircraft Establishment, where she worked on carburetor research and development. When the Spitfire's engine problem persisted, Schilling stepped forward with a solution. She designed a simple yet effective brass restrictor plate with a precisely calibrated hole, which she fitted into the carburetor. This small modification prevented fuel starvation during steep dives, allowing the engine to function reliably even under extreme conditions. The fix was so effective that it was quickly implemented across the Spitfire fleet. Schilling personally traveled to various airbases, ensuring that the modification was installed correctly. Her solution became known as Miss Schilling's Orifice, a testament to her ingenuity. Schilling's fix did not completely eliminate the problem, but it significantly reduced the risk of engine failure during combat. Later, she went on to design an entirely new carburetor for the Merlin engine, permanently resolving the issue. Her contributions were instrumental in ensuring the Spitfire's dominance in the skies and, ultimately, Britain's victory in the Battle of Britain. After the war, Schilling continued to work on advanced military projects, including rocketry, ramjets, and guided weapons. In 1955, she was promoted to senior principal scientific officer at the Royal Aircraft Establishment, a testament to her exceptional skills and dedication. Schilling's legacy extends beyond her technical achievements, she broke barriers for women in engineering and proved that brilliance knows no gender. Today, it is widely acknowledged that without Beatrice Schilling's intervention, the outcome of World War II might have been very different. Her story is a reminder of the unsung heroes whose ingenuity and determination shape history. The Spitfire may have been the symbol of Britain's defiance, but it was Schilling's brilliance that ensured its success.